countries that embrace crypto versus countries looking to control crypto. As the use of cryptocurrencies grows around the world, so are the laws that regulate them. The crypto landscape is continuously changing, and keeping up with the legislation in several global jurisdictions is difficult. So let's look at how different countries regulate crypto, as well as whether they have embraced it or the other way around, controlled it. Welcome back to Crypto World. Take a journey with us bi-weekly as we focus on crypto trends all around the world. Get your ticket by hitting that like and subscribe button. Countries that embrace crypto. El Salvador. When it comes to crypto-friendly regulation, El Salvador reigns supreme. El Salvador approved a law in 2021 making Bitcoin legal tender, which means you can purchase products and services in El Salvador with Bitcoin just as simply as you can with a US dollar. As a result, there's no income or capital gains tax on Bitcoin in the country. Despite strong criticism from mainstream financial institutions, El Salvador also wants to maintain its role as a Bitcoin center by developing the world's first Bitcoin city. The United States President Joe Biden signed an executive order directing the U.S. Treasury Department, Commerce Department, and other important departments to create reports on the future of money in preparation for the possible creation of a digital dollar. One goal of the directive was to develop ways to assist the 5% of Americans without bank accounts, while another was to analyze the technology infrastructure required for a prospective American CBDC. Analysts believe it will take years to build and launch a digital currency. Singapore Singapore is another well-known crypto-friendly country. The country in Southeast Asia has no capital gains tax and no tax on products and services purchased with cryptocurrency. Income from crypto-related activities such as staking, however, is subject to taxation. Furthermore, Singapore's financial regulators are very friendly to digital assets allowing crypto businesses to operate without a license for a six-month grace period. Canada When Canada's primary securities regulator approved the launch of the world's first physically settled Bitcoin ETF, it earned a spot on the list of most crypto-friendly countries. Purpose Investments, a Canadian investment firm, launched the Purpose Bitcoin ETF, and it enjoyed an explosive start. With $564 million in assets under management just five days after it began trading, Fidelity Canada introduced its Fidelity Advantage Bitcoin ETF and the eponymous Mutual Bitcoin ETF Fund, keeping Canada in the lead in the global Bitcoin ETF race. Bitcoin ETFs in Canada are not only available to ordinary investors, but they also offer considerable benefits to those who open government-registered investment accounts such as tax-free savings accounts. Aside from dominating the crypto ETF market, Canada has been attempting to clarify its crypto legislation in recent years, with the goal of officially recognizing crypto enterprises as money service organizations. Binance's local subsidiary, Binance Canada Capital Market, received registration from Canada's Financial Transactions and Reports Analysis Center in late 2021. According to the data from the Cambridge Bitcoin Electricity Consumption Index, Canada is the fourth largest country in terms of Bitcoin mining power, accounting for 9.6% of the total global hash rate. The United Arab Emirates UAE was also named one of the most crypto-friendly countries, with officials in Dubai, the UAE's capital, stepping up efforts to support the crypto industry's growth. As part of its business plan, the Dubai Financial Services Authority, or DFSA, announced plans to build a complete crypto regulatory framework. Following that, the DFSA gave additional regulatory permits, including the Bitcoin Fund, a prominent Canadian financial product, Regulations for investment vehicles such as security and derivative tokens are also being worked on by the DFSA. Many agreements have also been reached by UAE regulators to officially authorize and encourage crypto trading in several free economic zones in Dubai. The country has also made progress in the use of non-fungible tokens or NFTs, with its postal operator issuing NFTs to honor the Federation's 50th anniversary. The Dubai World Trade Center Authority said in late 2021 that it would become a comprehensive zone for cryptocurrencies, products, operators and exchanges as well as a regulator. 
Some of the world's leading cryptocurrency companies and industry figures are flocking to the United Arab Emirates. Binance CEO Changpeng Zhao is said to have purchased his first home in Dubai, which is extremely pro-crypto. Countries looking to control crypto China Throughout the year of 2021, China intensified its crackdown on cryptocurrencies. Chinese officials have frequently warned its citizens to stay away from the digital asset market, and they've cracked down hard on mining and currency exchanges both in China and abroad. On August 27, Yin Yuping, the deputy director of the People's Bank of China's Financial Consumer Rights Protection Bureau, or PBOC, referred to cryptos as speculative assets and advised people to guard their pockets. Attempts to destabilize Bitcoin, a decentralized currency that is unaffected by governments or institutions, are sometimes perceived as the Chinese government's intention to develop its own e-currency. The POBC wants to be one of the first major central banks in the world to establish its own digital currency, allowing it to keep a closer eye on its citizens' transactions. Egypt Dar el Ifta, Egypt's top Islamic advisory body, issued a religious judgment in 2018 declaring Bitcoin transactions haram or forbidden under Islamic law. While not legally binding, Egypt's banking rules were changed in September 2020 to make it illegal to trade or promote cryptocurrency without a central bank license. Iran The Iranian government has a tangled relationship with Bitcoin. To avoid the worst consequences of punishing economic sanctions, Iran has turned to the lucrative industry of Bitcoin mining to finance imports. While the central bank prohibits the trading of cryptocurrencies developed outside of the country, it has offered incentives to promote Bitcoin mining within the country. Iran is home to about 4.5% of the world's Bitcoin mining, which could generate over $1 billion in revenue, according to the blockchain analytics firm Elliptic. Iran has provided inexpensive energy to licensed miners in order for the crypto business to thrive. But all mined cryptos must be sold to the central bank. Unlicensed mining, on the other hand, drains more than 2 gigawatts from the national grid every day, resulting in power shortages.